the big news is uh, Optic didn't get a spot, FaZe didn't get a spot, G2 didn't get a spot. Um, I'm trying to think what else, who else didn't get a spot from NA that people thought would. TSM did not get a spot. The reported teams from NA that got in, EG, C9, Sentinels, R Energy, and 100 Thieves. Those are the five, that's it. So everybody else from NA did not get a spot. I don't know about T1. I think T1 probably got a spot in Korea. I would imagine DRX did too. But the fact that there's only 25 pro players in the actual league is crazy. Yeah, Exa and the guard both did not. So basically, all, all that that means to me is performance meant nothing. Look at EG's performance. Like, EG's had not a good team since the start of Valorant, but they have, they have a very good community. They've been around forever they have like soup like they go back years and years and years and their brand is like very positive they have a league of legends team so you know performance didn't really matter at all otherwise optic would have gotten in right that there's only going to be 25 like tier one pro players in the league this first year a lot of a lot of players that deserve a spot probably uh are not going to have a spot they're going to be team west and they're going to have to be playing through tier two so all of a sudden, it f I think it's kind of a I think it's kind of a mistake to only have five NA teams because there's definitely more teams that deserve it. I would say like ten, but it makes it a very very vicious space right now, where like if you underperform, then bro you are out. I think I think it will be way more cutthroat than it ever has been. If you have one underperforming player and you're not winning, cut him, get somebody else in there. I think it's going to be it's going to be rough to be a pro. And trust me. As uh, as I was a pro for over 10 years, the space was already cutthroat. And the second that the community turns on you, you're like cut. I think it'll be even more cutthroat now because there's only 25 spots for players. And it, it seems like most people are saying, most of the leaks and most of everybody are saying like almost every team are going to make roster changes and get upgraded. So the question is, if you're like a tier one pro, if you are on a tier one team and you, you are a tier one player, but you don't have a spot in the league, what do you do? Do you play through tier two and you go through like the, the promotion or do you try to be like a six man for, I mean, I don't know how it's just going to be so weird. It's, it's going to be so weird, man. I'm, I'm interested to see how it turns out, but I also think that it was a, a little bit of a mistake to do it, how they're doing it this first year. seems like most people are in the same boat too. I don't think there's anyone that's like, oh man, this, this franchising thing is going to be so good for the scene. Like maybe long-term. But I think initially it's going to be very bad. And, and just coming from like a player perspective, it's going to be it's going to be rough, man. It is going to be rough. It'll be interesting also to see how the salaries change, too, because usually uh, <clears throat> usually when it's like this, the the actual teams that are in the league are paid way more than the tier two scene.